Okay, so I was asked about the uh, the Bible bag, and so let me just do a, a little walkthrough on this. Um, okay, now as you can see, looking at it now, you can see that it's a pillow sham. I liked the quilted, and I like the fact that this one has kind of a, I don't know, a vintagey look. It's, it's tough the way it is, and it already had all this nice little edging. So what I did was, but it had some tears, and yeah, it was too wore out to use for a pillow sham anymore. Didn't didn't go with my bedding. Let me zoom this out. I think I'm zoomed in. Okay. All right. So on this side, as you can see, probably well, maybe not because I kind of covered it up. Okay, you can see inside here. Now I wasn't worried about anything being like really super fancy finished because I wanted it to have a rustic look. I removed the the part, the inside part of the pillow thing, you know, where you slide the pillow in and it has the two slots. I removed all that. I took, this is one end off of a blanket, obviously the scalloped end, and I thought that would just look nice, off of a blanket that had a big piece of damage that I bought damaged to use, okay? So I took and I literally just measured this and decided that I needed a little, of course, space in the middle because I would want to have a place to put my pens and I wouldn't want it overlapping so that it was difficult to remove the books. And I, I do a lot of Bible study. So now I've got, this is extra big, so you could cut it down if you wanted. I've got my, my notebook, uh, journal book type thing. And um, then, of course, my other Bible can um, easily... Let me set this down a second. As you can see, easily fit. So then when I fold it closed, and I just tie it. And you could go so far as to install a zipper or do a Velcro, but I just really don't need all that. All right, um, so I put the two pieces of blanket, and I found that it needed to have just a, a touch more stabilization. So I literally cut a strip here, put it here just to stabilize that, that point. I literally cut a rectangle and stitched it here between where these two pieces were, were going to be placed just to make that little pen pocket, okay? And that's really all I did. After I used it a day or two, I thought, hmm, I think I'll put a, a little piece of Velcro here and then the receiving side, the, the catch over here, so that when I close it, I can kind of pinch it shut. Um, these handles, eh, probably not the best in the world, but I can kind of grab it from the handles. I, I could have probably done something different, maybe on the outside, but it really was a simple thing. Um, and each time I would kind of go, oh, hey, you know, maybe I should do this. One of my ties, because these were literally the ties that were left on the, um, there were the parts of the uh, fabric that I cut into strips that came off of the other side of the pillowcase. So I really did reuse as many things. There's nothing, except for the little pieces of Velcro, there's literally nothing new on this. Literally nothing new. Okay, I hope that helps. And, and really just measure, if you're gonna make one, just measure your own book. And if you're using, you know, something like a like a pillow sham or something, you can either leave it full size like I did, or you can cut it down for a smaller one. And like I said, I wanted it double sided and I wanted it big enough to put a journal notebook in. So maybe your best bet would, if you have a really small Bible to use the journal notebook as your size determiner. I like my highlighters. They can actually clip on this, but I was studying today. So being that it's Sabbath and so they can all clip on here so they they can't be dumped out if I turn this if I should get it and pick it up this way so that it's upside down rather than right side up okay um thanks <laughs>